Hello everybody, it's Greg here on the Blue Feather Ephemera channel where I show you what's sold recently in my eBay store, also called Blue Feather Ephemera. During the past seven days, I had 12 sales for a total of $242.24. Let's get started. First up, we have a nice partial page ad for Wilkins Coffee from 1944. It measures about four inches by six. It shows you the package there for regular coffee or drip grind. And they've changed the package, but you can expect the same fine quality. $8.77 sent this to a buyer in Texas. Next, I'll show you an ad from 1972 for a cat yak. It's a twin hull kayak catamaran sailboat hybrid from Dayton Marine Products based in Detroit, Michigan. $12.77 sent this ad to Arizona. While I'm on this ad here, I'll go ahead and switch to the second picture in the listing. And I want to show you something that I do that might be a little bit different from other sellers. Uh, I take the photographs against the background of a measured cutting mat. And that way, uh, buyers, they usually don't always look at the description of a listing, but they usually always look at all of the pictures, and that answers a lot of questions up front and probably keeps me from having to respond to a lot of questions about the size of an ad that they're interested in. Advertisement number three here is for Columbia House Records and Tapes. It's a two-page advertisement left and right sides it's not a centerfold it's split down the middle i make sure in description to make sure the buyer is aware of that it says 1980s nostalgia it uh, has all of the popular artists from that era van halen michael jackson billy joel the footloose soundtrack it really don't get any more 80s than that in the description there where you where it says read i also direct the buyer to the description and I make a special note there that this particular advertisement was sourced from a adult magazine so that they're aware that there could be something on the back of the page that might not be suitable for children but uh, $16.77 is sending this advertisement to South Carolina. Next is a beautiful advertisement for the Richardson Company makers of Richardson Precision Plastics, Inserock Plastics. It shows a nice head-on shot of a battleship, or battle wagon as they were also called. And it says a bone in her teeth, and what it's referring to, uh, this uh, ad came out just a few months before the attack on Pearl Harbor. We hadn't entered the war yet, but American industry was tuned to be the arsenal of democracy, and we were sending armaments and supplies Worldwide, eighteen dollars and seventy-seven cents sent this ad to a buyer in Ohio. Next up is a trio of advertisements going to the same buyer for uh, women's undergarments, and the first one here is for Miss Exquisite form bras briefs, and it has a picture of a girl on the telephone. It don't get any more teenager than that or at least back in the day, and uh, $14.77 was the price of this full-page ad. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and mention that if anybody's keeping count, go ahead and count this one twice, because I had two copies of this ad, and both sold this week. Uh, they came out of American Girl magazine from 1965. It's rare in publications that I... Uh, source from that there'll be identical ads in different issues of the publication but in this case this ad ran twice at least twice during that year in that magazine so i had two both sold this second ad that's going to that buyer is for teen form pirouette bra it says it's the prettiest shape to be in that is really some flower power wallpaper there i thought this girl well with her head down, you can't really tell, but 
I thought she kind of resembled Winnie off of the Wonder Years. But uh, anyway, an, another nice ad from American Girl magazine, and it sold for fourteen seventy seven. Also, the third ad going to that buyer is from Life magazine, nineteen fifty three. For Warner LeGrant bras, girdles, and corselets. Shows ladies in the dressing room there. Says they can steal attention without feeling pinched. And $16.77 was the price on this full page ad. Again, all three to one buyer going to Virginia. This advertisement is for a Canon F1 35mm camera with 150 to 600 millimeter telephoto lens and it shows a picture of a cat i don't know a lot about cats i'm not a cat person i'm allergic to them so i don't know us a lot about cats and that they right there is probably the worst joke i've ever made it's from a 1986 national geographic magazine uh, advertisements don't have to be old to sell this one's going to Germany. This is your reminder to use the eBay Global Shipping Program. If you sell on eBay, it's easy. You send it to a domestic shipping hub, and they will take care of the international shipping billing and any customs and all of that kind of stuff. It's easy as can be. $12.77 sent this ad to Germany. This next advertisement's for a company called Micromatic Home Corporation. It's from Fortune Magazine, 1954. This company specialized in the processes of machining that uh, made parts used in aircraft engines and control surfaces. And some of that made supersonic flight possible. The picture is an F-100 Super Sabre. It was the first supersonic fighter plane. The Air Force Thunderbirds flight demonstration team used the F-100 in its shows for 13 years. This nice old ad is going to a buyer in Nevada for $18.77. Now here's some history right here, folks. This is a Hawaiian Airlines ad. It says, Hawaiian Airlines goes Douglas, talking about Douglas Aircraft. The ad says Douglas wings are the protective wings over our island paradise. Remember, Hawaii wasn't yet a state, but it was a possession of the United States. And here it shows a soldier and a local girl on an outrigger canoe watching a Douglas DC-3 civilian variant of that aircraft flying over the palm trees there. Just a little bit of history. The Air Force, well, at that time, the Army Air Corps had received its first military version of that plane, the C-47 Skytrain, in 1940. And by the end of the war, the company had delivered 9,348 of those transport planes to the Air Force. But it's a, a beautiful advertisement. Uh, it's ironic. And it uh, cost $23.77 going to a buyer in California. This last sale is a piece of paper that has a lot going on. It's from Look Magazine, September 1941. Again, just a few months before the United States officially entered World War II. And it shows... Hitler's Butchers in Occupied Europe. On the left-hand page, which is in color, it shows Hitler uh, there with his party chiefs, Himmler and Goering and Goebbels. And on the right side, in black and white, it shows other party officials that are in charge of things in uh, other parts of the territories controlled by Germany in the early days of World War II. This is a good place for a reminder that not everything that you can sell out of a magazine is going to be an advertisement. In my own eBay store at Blue Feather Ephemera, I have a small section, probably less than 
1% of my total items is devoted to magazine print illustrations, not advertising, but illustrations. And uh, there's also a small section of magazine print maps that are not related to advertising. Also, caricature art of historical figures, especially unpopular ones, and the caricatures are not flattering. That's always going to catch somebody's eye. So keep that in mind and be on the lookout for that. This paper right here sold for $68.77 going to a buyer in California. Well, there you have it. That's the rundown of my sales for the past seven days. To recap, I had 12 sales for a total of $242.24. And just a reminder, I'm running a 10% off promotion in the store right now. So that 10% comes out of the total just like other fees and expenses. I thank you for coming by and watching this video. And I hope you come back and visit me on my channel again soon. Hey, while you're here, I want to invite you to visit my eBay store, Blue Feather Ephemera. The link is down below in the description of this video. I always say, if a thing was sold, collected, celebrated, or built, you can bet it was also advertised. Vintage advertising makes a great addition to any bar, restaurant, man cave, salon, garage, anywhere the right vibe is essential. If you like the video and want to see more content like this, you can always hit the like button, you can share it with friends, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time.